Any questions so far on those last couple? I'll just kind of let you guys uh, go with that. Um, I think the next thing I want to cover, the next exercise, is going to be considered, I guess you would consider it a plyometric exercise. I don't like to use the word plyometric exercise because the next most obvious thing is, what are plyometrics? Unfortunately, I'm an instructor of Taekwondo, I'm a student of Taekwondo, I don't necessarily know how to explain all of the different things that happen in the body, how the muscles contract and all these different things. But I do know that a plyometric exercise is basically, you jump and on the landing, you jump again. That's why I got this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump. So did we have any questions on that last one? No? Is that I think a jump backwards and on the landing, leaving my heel off the floor, spring forward. I'm not sure if actually I'll jump, just jump away from the camera. So from here, jumping backwards, be careful because you don't want to topple over and land backwards on your tailbone or hurt your wrists. Jump backwards, land on the ball of your feet, and in one motion, jump forward. Simple enough. So the idea here is I'm going to jump back, one, forward. Jump back, forward. You'll always notice you can jump forward further than you can jump backwards. So what you can do in your dojang, if you're an instructor or in your house, start at one far wall, right? I won't go all the way to the back so nobody can hear me, but let's say I'm in that back wall. And my goal is, my round is to jump all the way to that wall. So I'm going to jump backwards here, forward, right? Backwards, forward. Backwards, forward. But what I'm doing there is if I land, I push forward. All of my weight is dropping on my legs, and at the same moment, my muscles are pushing forward. So for that brief moment, all of those muscles for a flash are put under a higher demand, right? My body is landing, which gives a perception to my muscles that I'm actually heavier, and as they absorb that weight, the same moment, they push me the other direction, so they actually propel me the other direction. The idea there is for that brief flash, that brief moment, your body is being launched. Your muscles are contracting and exploding your body forward. I'm teaching these muscles in my leg to explode. Remember these muscles in the leg, right? Pushing forward on the punch, pushing forward on the punch. Same muscles, same muscles. So, Taekwondo itself has a training program. It is set up to do fast twitch muscles, right? All of our patterns, if you do them properly, with the right intentions. All the kicking drills, if you do them properly, with the right intentions. They're all training our muscles as a group to perform at every different angle. You complete those series of patterns, all 24, or even the nine color patterns, with full power. You've done enough there to teach each of your body, each of your muscle groups in your body, how to do a fast switch muscle movement, or how to do an explosive single technique. Okay? How are we doing for questions so far? We have one? Uh, there's a couple, sir. Okay. Um, do you believe that uh, poly plyometric exercises would work for every student, even depending on their own personal muscle ability? Every student? Or any student, I guess. Any student within reason, yes. I mean, it depends. And we do have students who actually have handicaps, I mean, if they're in a wheelchair. But even then, there's probably plyometric exercises for the hands, for the arms, right? So I would say a plyometric exercise, again, depends. I mean, the word any student. People have knee problems, they have back problems, they have wrist problems, they have elbow problems, shoulder problems. Whatever the nature of the, uh, if you have a physical ailment, whatever the nature of that ailment is, take that into heavy consideration. If your instructor or our trainer is trying to get you to th uh, through a series of plyometric exercises, you should be able to explain to them what your ailment is, and there should be a option, an alternative, something that you can do differently to still get benefit. But if the question is, is it beneficial for everybody? Is it too advanced for a beginner student? No, it's truly beneficial for everyone. At which point in the class would you introduce uh, polymeric metrics? I would just I would start my class with a little bit of running, just to get a sweat, warm up the joints. And then after the joints are warmed up and the body's already sweating, there I do the plyometrics before I go into too much stretching. Okay? Um. That's okay? All right. So, uh, my goal today is to try to keep the web class a little bit brief. I don't want to do it too long, although I'm kind of getting into the swing of things here. But I don't want to go too long because I know each of you guys, you took some time today and you want to get back into the re uh, rest of your schedule. So I do want to thank you guys for attending and uh, let you know that it is truly important to take the advantage or the opportunity to learn. Uh, recently, I went to a seminar in England, right? 
Now, when you look at it, I told my friends about it, I jumped on a plane Thursday night, flew overnight, I arrived in England Friday morning, we did our seminar Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, Monday morning jumped on a plane, came home, I was back in the Dojang teaching on Tuesday. Now that's tiring, but when I look at the experiences I gained from just that one trip, it's immeasurable. I mean, it was a lot of money to go, it took time away from my family and time away from my Dojang, which I take very, very seriously when I make my decision on what I do with my time. But the, 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 the experiences I got just from that trip, I was sitting in a room, again, just listening to the masters, talking about technique. Every now and then, I mean, my job when I'm there, I'm not a master, my job when I'm there is to get up. If they're discussing technique, they'll say, okay, Mr. Reed, punch. I'll just do a punch and then just take directions from them. I'm basically their, their mannequin as they discuss the different points of doing the technique. I'm sitting in the room one day, Master Nichols, Master Galarraga, Master Laws from Wales, Master Rai, Master Maidana, Master Harry, and of course, Master Che. And they're all talking about these techniques. 250 years worth of training, perspective, coming into my ears, listening. If I didn't go to England, no opportunity for that, right? Casually walking around after I grab my dinner plate. I'm looking for a place to sit, find a nice gentleman sitting by himself, Mr. Leon van der Kuten, uh, from the Netherlands. Half sat down, and this man just oozed information. It was impossible not to learn from him, just the way he was talking. This is the person who's trained special forces in his career. He's a person who's trained all sorts of different people who had to use their techniques. And just the way the information came forward was, I mean, I, I spent probably about two hours or three hours with him that evening, but I feel like I spent a month training directly under him. I got so much information from just that one experience. So when there's an opportunity to learn, please take the opportunity. Just like the way you did now. You sat down on your computer, you punch in some keys, and you're sitting there listening to me talk. I do realize some people who are listening here are my seniors in Taekwondo, and I really do value the feedback that I can get from you, because each of you guys have a lot more knowledge than I have, but the information I've got that I'm providing for everybody to listen to is basically information that I've gained through listening to my seniors. So if there's still more to come, I really, really would appreciate uh, hearing from them, and of course hearing from everybody who took part in the web class. So uh, at this point, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna close things out, and uh, Thank everybody for taking part. Thank everybody for taking part in the TKD Source website. I'll just leave it open for one more series of questions as I finish uh, wrapping things up now. And if there's no questions that come forward, we'll just wrap things up at the end. But again, the different people that you meet through traveling in Taekwondo, you can't put a price on that. If you are serious about what you're doing, take the time. Take the time and learn and listen to different people. Meet different people and don't always look at the negative side of taking one of these trips, the financial and the time Look at some of the positive things that can be gained from investing. Did you have any questions there? You're getting a lot of people saying thank you for the oh, web class. The it's absolutely every, my Everybody is signing in saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And I'd like to thank you for the class as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's it then. I'll, hopefully that those exercises are something that you guys can try out at home. Or if you are instructors, you can throw it into your training programs. Give your students something uh, a little bit different. I look forward to getting some information from you guys. Oh, there's one. There was just a question about the what would be a good stretching technique for the explosive kick. Uh, for the, the training te stretching technique, I don't know. A stretching technique is going, and that's another person I mentioned I, I met, Master Michael Moletta. I'll go back to him in a moment. But a stretching technique, this is a movement where flexibility is basically secondary, other than you want to be warmed up so you prevent an injury. If you're warmed up, a powerful turning kick to the knee would often be more effective to a, than a powerful turning kick to the ribs, right? If I disable my opponent to the point where they can't chase me, I can walk away, right? So you don't need to be extremely flexible and be able to kick really high to make a technique powerful. You just want to make sure you're warmed up. And like I say, running around a room, uh, doing some plyometric exercises, some basic stretches to ensure the muscles are, have blood in them and that they're loose. That's all you really, really need. A stretching exercise specifically, as mentioned by Master Michael Muletta, who I also met in England, and I didn't even realize he's not only a master in Taekwondo, he actually trains a certification course for personal trainers. So there's the person to ask that question to. I'm working on nailing him down because he actually does have a few courses, and we're going to try to convert them and make them available online, and we'll introduce them to the group at the TKD Source website. Okay? So if there's nothing else, all right. Thank you, everyone. Please send me your feedback. If you have any questions that you come up with after the fact, message me at uh, TKD Source, and I'll see the rest of you guys there. Take one.